Hey everybody, all right, so here is the video of the Wilson Cloud Chamber that I promised. This thing was made by Synco probably about 65 years ago, thereabouts. And um, this specific apparatus was um, designed by a guy named C, I think C.T. Nip, and um, it was his iteration of the Wilson Cloud Chamber. Now, unlike the Wilson Cloud Chambers or the Cloud Chambers that we're familiar with that use dry ice or Peltier chips, that provide um, real-time um, visual of the uh, alpha particle tracks or gamma or betas coming off the uh, radioactive source. This is kind of like a one-time deal. So um, by squeezing this tube down here, or the bulb down here at the bottom, it creates a super saturated environment with inside the cloud chamber here. And uh, once you let it go real fast, um, the supersaturation takes place, and you will see the alpha ray tracks um, emanating from the uh, end of the probe. So let me give you a quick rundown of what we have here. So in this whole section, from about the bottom of the bulb all the way to just below, probably about three, maybe four millimeters, just below the um, the probe you see there. That's that glass um, stick. On on the end of the stick is a uh, uh, small amount of radium and that will be the source of the alpha particles. Uh, within the chamber you have um, an electrical charge. In this case it's charged up to about 200 volts uh, with the anode being that ring on the top and um, the cathode being the actual chassis. And what that does is that provides a nice uniform electrostatic field within the chamber uh, that allows the alpha ray, tr alpha ray tracks, alpha particle tracks to um, form properly. So what's powering that is a small little boost board powered by a 9 volt battery. Uh, this is a um, like about 100 and maybe 95 volt to 203, 205 volt range uh, boost board. Works very good for this. Um, in fact, when this is not hooked up, the tracks are um, intermittent and really not well defined. And once the voltage is hooked up, uh, they're really well defined and you can see them. So I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration and then we'll actually go into some good close ups of some uh, alpha particle tracks. So I'll go ahead and squeeze this. And I let go real quick. And you can see how that works. So. All right, so let's go ahead and um, back out of here, and I will show you some close-ups here in the dark.